comes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right. Welcome to Bear Ranch. I'm Dr. Matt. This girl, we're calling Mama for now. The story with her, she was a stray who had a litter of puppies underneath either a shed or a house or a barn or something, um, and she wouldn't let anybody get to them. Come here, come here. She was protecting her babies, but she got this big wound on her front leg that finally made her uh, realize that she needed a little help. And this thing is totally open and nasty. We'll give you a better look in a minute after we get her... Um, little uh, sedated but she finally let someone go in there and they went under there and drug out all the puppies and they got her and they brought her to us so we're gonna doctor up that leg today because if we don't she's gonna that that's something that could kill her an infection that bad I mean it, it is totally gone the skin on her leg so we're gonna get her anesthetized and see what we can do we're also gonna vaccinate her we're gonna deworm the puppies and get them all healthy <laughs> bunch of fat little puppies. Here's what we're working with. This is a giant wound here. There's a bunch of small wounds all around it, but this is just a huge open wound where there is no skin anymore. There's some dead skin down in here. Um, basically, it's a wreck. I think we can get all that skin to grow back. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of hard work. Um, but first we're just going to try to clean as much of this junk as we can out of here. Get all the dead tissue out, as much of the bacteria as possible because this is a very infected wound. So right now I am just flushing this wound with tap water. This does a couple things. It helps remove bacteria. It also softens up all that dead skin so it will easily be peeled out of here. Because we don't need that in there anymore. It's not doing her any good. So I just want you guys to see what it looks like right now because in a couple days it's going to look a lot different. So here's what it looks like after we scrubbed it and got it as clean as we could on day one. So I'm going to do what's called a wet to dry bandage. Basically I'm going to soak these gauze in some saline. I'm going to pack them into this wound so they're going to be wet, they're moist. And then I will wrap it all up and then tomorrow we'll take it out. So we have no history on this girl, so we don't know um, if she's ever been on heartworm meds. I'm going to get a little blood to check her for heartworms today. We also gave her vaccines because we have no idea on vaccine history. So we have two boys, these two. These are some solid puppies. That mom has been feeding them good. And they all look really healthy. These other four are all girls. We're going to give them a little dewormer today. We decided to name Mama Ruthie. We don't have any names for the puppies yet. I guess these things are probably around four weeks old. We have no history on them, so we don't know for sure, but that'd be my guess. And by the looks of them, I would say their dad was a big old dog. We'll see you tomorrow. It's a day later and we are going to rewrap her leg today, but first, okay. the kids needed to see the puppies. Okay. Puppy. Who likes puppies? Me! <laughs> Did you hear that? It's <laughs> okay. Those are pretty big fat puppies, aren't they? Thank you. <laughs> Can you pet it? He wants to get out. Put your hand. Hold it. Good job. <laughs> Is it heavy? Is that a heavy puppy? I'm going to see what this looks like. So the point of the wet to dry is because it hooks to all the dead tissue and kind of helps debride it. So it kind of pulls some of that junk out of here. What you'll notice today that we did not have yesterday is a lot of blood, which is good. That means we're knocking out all that dead necrotic tissue and we're making way for fresh tissue. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. I'm going to pack it with wet gauze again and wrap it up. We've got Ruthie's leg patched up. We're just going to keep doing this every day until that wound is ready to close up. I think we have some tired puppies. Yeah. Annie, do you like those puppies? Are they cute? Y'all say bye.
Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> what? See you tomorrow. <laughs> Mario. See you tomorrow. Say see you tomorrow. See you Day three. Let's see what this thing looks like now. Looks like it's cleaning up slowly but surely. This is looking really good. I went ahead and spent a few minutes just cleaning up and scraping a little extra tissue out of the top of this. I'm going to actually close the top of this up and leave the bottom open so it can continue to drain and we need a little more time to brighting down there. But I'm just going to start suturing the top of this thing closed. So you can see I've stitched up the top of that. So effectively decrease the size of this thing by about half. I think this is going to be um, clean enough that it will hold up here plus there's still a channel under it where it will drain straight out here if it needs to. And we will now just do the same packing of the bottom of this and then wrap it all up again. It's been 11 days since I sutured up the top of that wound. You can see how good the rest of it's looking. I'm going to go ahead and work these sutures down a little ways further. The puppies are about six weeks old now and I can't show them with Ruthie because they all try to suckle on her still and we have them all weaned. So I'm going to bring out some canned food and show you guys how good they are at eating. I know. Go ahead. Nailate. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to go ahead and spay this girl today so that she can hopefully go on to be adopted soon. So this is her uterus, this is the left uterine horn, and what, what I wanted you guys to see is little bumps right there and right there. That's where a puppy was. One puppy was there, one puppy was there. There's another one here. So there's three on this side and there's three on the other side here. It's kind of interesting to see that um, even a few months after those puppies were born, the uterus still has these little bumps where they were attached. So now I'm just going to pull it out, tie it off, and cut it out of here. All done with surgery. Looks like it never even happened. We're going to wake her up now. So here's her wound. We've had her for almost a month, at least three weeks, and just a little bit of a scab left. Yeah, I know, but it looks really awesome. And these puppies are weaned, but we keep them away from her, and so now that they're all back together, they're trying to get some milk, even though they all eat totally um, canned food and some hard food now. But they're all almost eight weeks old. We've given them vaccines, their first and second set of vaccines. And I've promised anybody who adopts these puppies, I will um, spay or neuter them for free. So thank you so much for supporting Vet Ranch so we could put our time and effort into her and all these puppies and help get them all good homes. We're going to try to get them adopted all this weekend. So thanks so much, Vet Ranch. We'll see you next time. Sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong. Footing out for 30 feet Now I don't walk right And I don't talk right And there ain't nothing wrong With feeling strong But I know what you're going through I know cause I've been there too